Last time on Tim Plays a Game. So you won't be satisfied until you discover the truth. Something tells me Vivian knows already knows what happened. What do you mean? Master, watch out! He's plotting something! Tell me, Yuma. Why do you seek the truth? Detective, bro. Right now, we need the truth to save Chief Yako and everyone from the agency. Everyone, including you, of course. I just want to help others. Are you saying that's wrong? If they don't want help, then yes it is. And for that, <laughs> what will you sacrifice? How much have you already sacrificed? As much as I- I mean, he sacrificed a lot. He sacrificed his own big memories. Hey, you two. Quit fighting. Oh, what the heck? He- <laughs> Yako's dead? Who is that? Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. Turning your eyes away from the truth and living a lie is harsh, too. In the end, you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. All the power to the lab seems to be managed here. Wait. That was on a separate thing. I don't see a switchboard for Dr. Weska's yeah, Dr. Weska's lab's on a different uh, power grid. Why send a death threat? It'd be a lot easier to take someone out if you don't announce it beforehand. It's a hitman we're talking about. Maybe it's his policy or something. Yeah, that was weird. Like, why would they- why would you- that'd be like your best kept secret. Vivia! Something's hidden behind the pot! A photo and a map? Oh, he was trying to hide that. Isn't this the map of this lab? Could it have been taken from that folder in storage? But why would it be here? As for the photo, I have no idea. Yuma, you're our only hope. Show him you're no longer just a rookie. Right, I'm heading off now. What's up, everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Master Detective Archives Rain Code. Playing on Nintendo Switch. God, this chapter has been long. <laughs> yeah, we're on like the sixth video, and we're not even at the Mystery Labyrinth yet. I think that's gonna change with this uh, with this video because we just need. I think we just need one more clue. I managed to get here without being seen, but there should be more peacekeepers up ahead. I better keep moving and stay out of sight. Okay. <laughs> He's good at sneaking around. That's good. Wait. What if some toxic gas is still lingering around? Dang it, stop. Nah, just kidding. Gahaha! <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe it'd be cool if we could use Armapel. I knew it. There are still some peacekeepers, but once I'm at the computer, I'll be in their blind spot. How are you going to get past them? I just need to reach the computer without being seen. This mission is impossible. Master, you gotta make sure you don't get clumsy. There's no time. We need to hurry up and check the... All that's left is to check the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't step in the can. Who's there? Oh, no! Jeez! I told you not to get clumsy! You're that terrorist detective. How did you get here? I'll catch you and report to Director Yomi. Yomi's not here, though. Master, you'll have to take a chance in the mystery labyrinth. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't check the computer yet. I have to do that before going to the mystery labyrinth. Then what are you gonna do? What do I do? Lie, bro. <laughs> Just come quietly. Resistance is futile. <sighs> What's the ma- <sighs> Oh, crap. Sheesh. What a pain. <laughs> I want to die someday. 
Olivia, you came to help me? I always like to keep this syringe in my pocket. God, what was in it? He walks around with a syringe. He's like a walking cop magnet. <laughs> I know I should leave you alone, but curiosity got the best of me. <laughs> you are like death itself. Okay, so maybe Vivi's not in on it. You said that before, but I'm not the death detective. No matter. I will be a witness to the end. Once you obtain the truth, I'll see if you choose to scream or fall silent. I don't get what you mean, but you really saved me. And now I can check the doctor's computer. Yeah. Hmm. Hurry. Vivia really helped us out there. Let's wrap up this investigation. It's not locked. Oh, thank goodness. No one could enter this room, so he didn't need to set a password. Sure. Time to check it out. Let's see. Security log. Reference folder one, folder two, folder three. Well, what are you looking at? And what did you find out? Well, basically, when the security system is turned on or off, it automatically records the date and time in the log. Yeah. So if someone cut the security and entered this room without permission, it would be recorded in the log. Uh-huh. This is gonna break the case right here. I'm not into modern machines and stuff. Huh? What's going on here? Let me guess, the door hasn't been opened in three years. What's wrong? The only instance of the security being switched off was an hour ago. It hasn't been turned back on since, so... That means this must have been when I used Amapal to disable the security. Right. Right? So what? Well, the last time security was cut was 90 days ago. Dang, three months. <laughs> 90 days? Yeah, he's been in here for three months, roughly. Which means that security was up for at least 90 days before I disarmed it. There wasn't a single moment that security was cut during that time. Mm-hmm. That pr okay, that proves it. Huesca faked his own death. How would he do that? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe like he had a body in there or something. I guess he could have created something. I don't know. <laughs> this old man was cooped up in here for 90 days. He's a bona fide shut in. That's not the problem here. There's no record of anyone coming in and out of this room. Right. Unless that person was in here for three months with him. There should be a log of the hitman entering before we did. Since there isn't, the doctor couldn't have been murdered here. It's the perfect, impossible crime. Unless... I mean... I didn't really consider the possibility of a suicide. Because it's in his back. Three to, and then, yeah, the two stab wounds. That's really difficult to do. Without getting a bunch of blood everywhere. Um, I haven't figured out how the friggin' sulfuric acid fa uh, factors into this thing. He was planning on killing someone, so... <laughs> I'm guessing someone probably... Probably someone probably someone came in behind us and then did the killing. When we yeah, when we got in. And then I'm trying to think like there's some clues I didn't we didn't even factor in like We didn't talk about the lights going out, did we? Yeah, the power did go out, but... I don't know if that was to conceal something else. Fubuki's forte. Fubuki's forte can turn back time. It was used while controlling Am Am Anapal. Amapal. Traits in her ability as follows. Reversing time consumes a lot of energy. 
If time has been turned back once, it cannot be turned back beyond that point. God, what if a boogie's involved in all this? Holy crap. <laughs> Was before was 90 days ago. In other words, until Yuma company disabled it, the security system has been running without issue for 90 days. Also, he's been in here for 90 days. There's no other way in. That was the only way in was through the freaking gas chamber and the, the, and the panels and the shockies and the whatnot. <laughs> um, I'm thinking someone may have walked in behind us as well. No, we didn't see that unless they were like hiding in the air vent. They were hiding in that one like vent. But they took a huge chance of the poison gas. Then again, they could already. They could, it takes thirty minutes to kill them, so they could already be dead. If that, if think, yeah, if they are think. Yeah, it's not an instant death. It's a third. It's a delayed death. But then the electric panel thing, well, we, they wouldn't need to know that we because we already solved it for them. Yeah, they probably just waited for him to get paranoid or something. I'm, trying, I'm still looking at this from multiple ang angles. From the looks of it, it appears we have strayed further from the truth. Yeah. Hmm. The files are formatted to prevent editing. There doesn't appear to be signs that the log was rewritten. We've checked the data, but it's just made the crime even more impossible. I mean, we know now no one else got in here. No one else could have been in here with him for more than th for uh, less than three months. And thus, the mystery deepens. Yes, terrible. We might have to assume a few things here. It's not over yet. There could be more secret data. Uh, Halara even mentioned it. His emails haven't been deleted. He's been communicating a lot with the same person. One message is fairly recent. Here we go. This might break the case. From Schnauv to Doctor. Doctor, we have trouble. Someone has discovered our deal. You should go into hiding for the time being. This is interesting. He might have faked his death. From Doctor to Blank. We'll just call him Blank for now. It appears it's time to call it quits. We've profited enough from this already. It's too dangerous to leak research and confidential information any longer. I shall fully withdraw from here. With this money, I will fund my new research. Huh. So, yeah, so the doctor was working with someone. <laughs> Are the rumors true? Which I think might have been Yako. Do you intend to leave Kanai Ward? Doctor, don't tell me you're plotting to take the research and run. I hope you already know this, but you have nowhere to go. Doctor. To Doctor. What's the matter, Doctor? Are you ignoring me? I will not permit any betrayal. I told you before, but you have nowhere to run. Prepare yourself. This is... Can we go back and look at that? Okay. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of things. Okay. okay. From blank to doctor. We have trouble. Someone has discovered our deal. You should go back. You should go into hiding for the time being. Yeah, we didn't hear about any deal from anyone. Uh, to From doctor to blank. It appears time to call it quits. We've profited enough from this already. It's too dangerous to leak any research and confidential information any longer. I shall fully withdraw from here. That was the doctor. With this money, I will fund my new research. To the doctor. Are the rumors true? You intend to leave Kane Ward. Doctor, you're, don't tell me you're plotting to take this the research and run. I hope you already know this, but you have nowhere to go. This is to the doctor again. What's the matter, doctor? Are you ignoring me? I will not permit any betrayal. Do We, have, we don't have timestamps on this. I told you before, but you have nowhere to run. Prepare yourself. <laughs> wow, sorry, I just kind of like rolled over. I'm like, yeah, this is way back. Quite a suspicious exchange. Okay, so someone was... The doctor was saying he's trying to get the heck out of here. 
And then... I guess whoever was talking to him said, You have nowhere to go. This isn't going to work out well. Don't do this. And then Doctor didn't even care. I'm sure Doctor... Which kind of adds a lot of fuel to my theory about Huesca faking his own death and running. And then Yako probably tried to cover for him. That might work. The address is just random characters jumbled together. It'd be hard to figure out who the person is just from this. The doctor spoke to a mysterious person about leaking research and confidential information. Speaking of which, Makoto mentioned something similar. Well, this is just a rumor. But someone in Amaterasu Corporation is working behind the scenes with Dr. Weska. Huh. I don't know what they're plotting, but if this rumor is true, they must be dealt with eventually. So his suspicions were right. Searching through the backlog of the emails, this appears to have been going on for over five years. Dang. But it seems like their relationship soured about six months ago. I guess the doctor wanted to cut ties. Went back five years ago, and Dr. Hueska's research, original research, was stopped three years ago. Yeah. So the doctor plotted to leave Conai Ward, and this anonymous tried to stop him. It's more like he directly threatened him, if you ask nah, me. Nah, I don't think it's a direct threat. Prepare yourself. Probably was giving him good advice there, saying, get be prepared. The email records of Dr. Huesca and Anonymous. There was, a reg there was regular communications between them until just recently. And then Dr. Huesca probably sent out the fake, uh, the fake, uh, think the, the slaughter artist threats. That would make sense why the detective agency, the detective organization got them and why the peacekeepers also got them. Could Anonymous be the one who hired the hitman? The doctor betrayed him, so he sought to kill the doctor. Makes sense. The doctor didn't shut himself in here just for research. He did it to protect himself. He felt Anonymous posed a threat. So he barricaded himself in a lab with impenetrable security. That also makes sense. But he sure didn't act like someone living with a death threat, right? Either he was that confident in his security, or it was just a facade. That's why I think that, yeah, the security was just a facade. The security was the facade. Let me be clear about that. Regardless, this anonymous is very suspicious. If only we could find out who this is. Bet my bottom dollar it's Yako. Even if that person hired the hitman, we still don't know how he got inside. They probably just followed us in through the robot. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. They just followed the robot in. We didn't, and when, because the door was opening so slowly, it blocked our view. Yeah, the robot's here. Door's here. Blocks them. Again, the person still behind the robot can walk behind and just enter the door from there. And then we got, we got kicked when that door w w walked open, so. Yeah, a lot of things could have happened there. True. That is the biggest puzzle here. How did the culprit get through such perfect security and murder the doctor? If we don't figure that out, the case can't be solved and our innocence can't be proven. Huh? Oh. Hey, it's yummy. Ah, oh, crap. What are you doing here? You again? Yeah, we're gonna need that mystery labyrinth right about now. And it looks like Vivian's coming with us. What are you, anyway? Were you born just to get my way? It's amazing how many times guns get pointed in my face, yet I haven't quite got hit by a bullet yet. <laughs> or was this all faded from the very beginning? No. Fate is just an excuse for defeatists. All right, interesting, fine. An, uh, inter interesting point of view. You're not some shit in my path. <laughs> You're an obstacle in the way of my ideals. A piece of trash. Trash must be dealt with properly before you rot and start to stink. Easy, buddy. <gasps> What's your name? Is that the same voice of Leon from Danganronpa? 
You owe me hell smile. I, I might be I might be wrong about that. I'm gonna look into that later. <laughs> Yuma Coco Pet. <laughs> I see. I'll make a path through Kanai Ward's sewers with your name on it. Thank you. You're so nice. Of course. <laughs> It'll be named after your bones once they're dumped there. Hey! Capture these criminals! I'll execute them on the spot! Yeah, definitely sounds like Leon a little bit. Shinigami, can you do it? Of course, Master! About dang time! <laughs> We're finally acting like partners! And of course, it's all thanks to my patient training! To the mystery lab! <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, I just have two guns pointed at me. No rush. Do your whole ridiculous Sailor Moon transformation. Okay, just do the Mystery Labyrinth already. Yeah, they were ready to attack, too. Good God. <laughs> I really waited for the last second on that one. This. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. So this is your true power. Yeah, but you won't remember any of it. You I knew. No matter what you say, it's already way too late. <laughs> Get in there. <sighs> well, yeah, I finally get to die. <laughs> <laughs> Down the rabbit hole we go. Elephants. Well, it's, it's always the same. Skulls, elephants, weird pyramid. <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of think if each one was made uniquely, it'd be look different. Guess I was wrong. I mean, the inside's always different, so... Is this hell? <laughs> Again with the falling. Why can't it ever be a gentle landing? Oh, Vivia. Um... This is called the Mystery Lab. Watch him say something along the lines of, I know, I know exactly what this place is. So, this place is a physical manifestation of mysteries from the case? How did I call that? You can tell? Well, anyway, this actually isn't my forte. It's... Due to the power of death. Her, right? It catches on quick. Huh? <laughs> so you really could see me this whole time? <laughs> it could? It's due to my spiritual affinity. Ever since I was young, I've been able to see otherworldly things. Well, now we know. My forte was gained through training that innate talent. Huh. Though, I wasn't able to see her clearly like this before. I could tell you were talking to some haze following you around, but that was it. Until one day, I used my spectral projection at the agency and saw that death got clear as crystal. After that, I did some research. I discovered that the WDO underground book vault held something called the Book of Death. And also, that someone had taken it. That guy! <laughs> did I take it? Before I lost my memories? I don't know. Since you're a rookie, I doubt you'd have access to the book vault. Only a handful of people have WDO clearance for that. Just a handful? Anyway, you've been using this ability to solve the other cases up till now, haven't you? Yeah. Y yeah. So, this is also related to the mysterious deaths of all those culprits? Hold on, I want to get that picture right there. <laughs> My guess is, clearing a labyrinth 
a materialization of a mystery causes its true perpetrator to die. Man, he doesn't even need any help with this. <laughs> that's the case. Everyone You've else we had to explain this to. People with your own hands, Yuma. Well, I didn't really kill anyone. It's okay. just what happens when... Okay, they were murderers. They were all murderers. <laughs> Alright, it's not like it's not like someone innocent died, I think. I mean, maybe there's three girls. That was... I mean, but that was still, that was still murder. <laughs> nope. I may be the one reaping their souls, but the blood is still on your hands. Easy. Hey! No point in pretending to be a goody two-shoes. You're risking your life to solve these mysteries. I see. So you're determined to do this, huh? <laughs> That's the thing. If this was a faked death, like, what happens here? Sorry, but... I don't think I have that kind of conviction myself. Oh, he's not gonna come with us. So... I think I'll take a nap here while you go and risk your life. You can sleep if you want, but you won't be able to get out. Hmm... Is that so? If you're not with Master, when and if he solves the labyrinth, this place will collapse around you. Yeah, I'm thinking it's either Dr. Huesca faked his death, somehow. Or Yako. Probably is the culprit. Couldn't even be Halara, because of that boot. Yeah, footprint. I mean, this is like the, the biggest thing that points directly to the culprit is this uh, footprint. It's not very easy to see. Yeah, it's in the critical lab, there was a shoe print on Anapal's head. When Anapal was moved into the airlock locker chamber, however, there was no shoe print. Well, if you don't have any regrets in the real world, you're free to die here. Hmm. <laughs> regrets. I don't have any of those, but there are still some things I've left unfinished. Books. <laughs> Especially after you exposed the mystery of this case. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'll be perfectly clear. I'm just going to tag along. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. That's usually how it goes. I don't care what you do, just don't get in our way. Well, Master. Let's do the usual. Yeah, also, he doesn't remember anything about the case, so... Yeah, okay. Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? <laughs> wonder what he makes of all this. <laughs> what Vivian's gotta be thinking. Give me your hand. <laughs> Wonder why they can't show the hand going into her mouth. Well, I guess that would look pretty disturbing. <laughs> I mean, where do they think it's going? <laughs> <laughs> Is that sword for cutting through mysteries? This place must be pretty dangerous. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess he's read enough books. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, let's hear your take on this one, guy. <laughs> smart guy. <laughs> Here you go, Master. Oh, well, obviously she just... <laughs> obviously she just vomited up all the clues we're gonna need to solve this case. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Is that key something like a clue for the case? <laughs> wow. Looks like you're ready to go. Could you be more of a downer? Whatever. I'm gonna ignore you. So let's go and unriddle this mystery labyrinth! Yay! Let's hunt down this culprit who preys on the truth! <sighs> we have to walk? This is unbearable. Yeah, you know, I haven't really even... I haven't really gotten any clues that says that Huesca faked his death, so... I'm almost certain Yako is the culprit. Crap. 
feel really bad now. Ugh, come on! You're bumming me out here. I thought you were going to ignore him. Say, Vivia, do you remember anything about the case? No. You mean Dr. Huesca's murder? Or are you talking about when Chief Fiaco was attacked? So he remembers that. Huh? You remember? Everyone else that came here lost their memories. That's pretty rare. It must be because of his whole spiritual thing. Or because he knew about it. Hmm. So the others lost their memories. That's why no one remembers this death god. How rude of them. It's thanks to yours truly that those pieces got solved. That reminds me. I used my coalescence with Fubuki before Vivia. But Vivia is the only one who came into the mystery labyrinth. Hmm. I guess coalescence got overwritten. Maybe it only takes the most recent ability. Yeah, I think that retcons the situation nicely. <laughs> you don't know? But coalescence is your power, Shinigami. Relax, will ya? Minor detail. <laughs> Not important. Redcon. Redcon. It would have been far more useful for this case. It doesn't matter anyway. No one can use their forte here. Oh. So now I really don't have to do anything. Thank goodness. <laughs> what a relief. You ever think your lack of motivation could be contagious? <laughs> hey, you relax. You getting to the end of this already? Thank God. So. Ooh, there's that mystery. Yeah, open wide. <laughs> oh, dude, stop crying. This has happened like 12 times. <laughs> no question. I wish they wouldn't spring out of nowhere like that. <laughs> I thought this labyrinth would only require your wits. It looks like it's going to take more than that, Yuma. Well, he doesn't have a whole lot of wits, so he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Okay. Why didn't a problem appear? Because we really don't. We got. I guess we got. We got to change. We got we to figure out the question, maybe. Hmm. Not only was there no problem, no choice appeared either. Master, maybe you don't even know which mystery to start with to solve this case. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. There's so many unknowns. I'm honestly feeling lost right now. Come on. You gotta know where to start with this stuff, or you won't be able to solve a single thing. Let's decide that for now. What's the first mystery of this case? Uh, the first, first mystery, mystery is... I guess, how did they get in there? The fact that Dr. Weska was murdered in a completely locked room with no way in or... Pretty sure they just followed the robot in. The doctor was located deep in the critical lab, behind layers of security. And yet, he was found stabbed to death. We were the first to discover the body. Time we were controlling the robot Amapel. Because of that, we were thought to be the culprits, but we obviously aren't. So how did the culprit get in and out of the doctor's lab? That's what I don't know. But the culprit is definitely the hitman, right? I think so, but I'm not absolutely sure. Besides, even if the hitman did it, there's the question of who hired him. But there's no doubt the hitman stabbed Chief Yako. That's the mm, only there thing is some doubt. Certain about. <laughs> How'd they get in here? <laughs> Kanai Ward's garbage. What are you doing here? <gasps> Yomi Hell Smile. He followed us. So the director of the Peacekeepers is here. Yeah, but he's just part of the Mystery Lab. I figured. In other words, he's a monster created from the labyrinth, right? Yes. Right. You 
pieces of shit. Oh my god. Dude, Yomi's looks freaking awesome. You're disturbing the peace of Kanai Ward. Hold on, get a picture of that. <laughs> There's your new background. This guy doesn't seem like an easy opponent. This guy's got like Final Fantasy boss end boss evil vibes here. <laughs> Good God. But we have no choice. For Chief Yako. Good God, we're up against a Final Fantasy boss. We're screwed. We're so screwed. <laughs> you killed Dr. Weska, didn't you? Turn yourselves in so I can torture you to death! Good news is, if we get through this, <laughs> we won't have to worry about Yomi anymore. It's the same trend that ha happen keeps happening here. Oh, wow, okay. You're the ones who killed Dr. Weska. I think it's the toxic gas properties. You disarmed the security system to the doctor's lab. you actually entered the lab, the security system for the critical lab stayed active. Oh. That wasn't it. Okay. Come on! The security system was definitely still active. That's why the guys worked so hard to disarm it. Okay, well, the doctor was already dead by the time we got the security um, inside. Must mean someone else must have been must have went into the critical the critical lab before you guys, right? The intruder may have left some traces behind. Let's check the solution keys for anything useful. You're the one to kill yeah, it's gotta be that then. You disarmed the security system to the doctor's lab. And then murdered him inside. Until you actually entered the lab, the security system for the critical lab stayed active. It's impossible to bypass the system while it's active. In other words, no one can enter the doctor's lab. There couldn't be an intruder. Wrong. <laughs> there was definitely an intruder. When the body was first discovered, Amapel was about to enter the doctor's lab. But something bumped into it and knocked it over. In fact, there was a mark on Amapel's head like someone kicked it. That mark wasn't there when we borrowed it. It's proof that someone else was in the lab. <laughs> you call that evidence? Is bullshit the only thing that comes out of that mouth? Yeah, I hear you fight a little harder than that. Don't make me laugh. Oh, shit. shit. There was an intruder. That's impossible. Oh, dang. Can't jump that one. And in fact... You proved that yourself! That claim doesn't hold up! Get back. <laughs> what do you mean? We proved there wasn't an intruder! <laughs> you still don't understand? Don't make me laugh! Probably the security system. If there was another intruder... Lab map... The device exists to prevent leakage from the gas chamber. The lid in the bard has a huge hinge on it. Then where did they go? Yeah, that's the only place they could have run. By the time you arrived at the scene... There was no one else, right? Dang it, that's not it. Okay. I thought that one might be it. Sure, no one passed you by, so I don't think there's any sh contradiction here. Doesn't that evidence show another possibility? Yeah, so a person could have been there. Okay, so we gotta wait a little longer. If there was another intruder, then where did they go? 
By the time you arrive at the scene. Oh, dang. There was no one else, right? There's no place to hide in the critical. Yeah, there is. There's a hiding spot. It's inside the airlock's decontamination device. The fence cover can be easily removed, and there's just enough space for someone to fit inside. If they hid inside the decontamination device, we wouldn't have seen them when we arrived at the scene. <laughs> so what? You've got it all wrong anyway. Everything is wrong. Your existence is all wrong. Have fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, come on, dude, what else are you going to argue here? Yeah, someone was definitely in the decontamination device thing. That was a place for them to be hiding and a place for them to escape. We managed to defeat him this time, but it's not over yet. He sure is persistent, huh? Anyway, there's no doubt someone else was inside the doctor's lab. So let's unravel each mystery one at a time. All right. That's the best way to do it. This time. Open up. Was there an intruder? Obviously. Come on. Why does it have to be so sudden? Okay, now that we've wedged our way into this mystery, we just gotta head through the labyrinth and reach the truth. Has to be an intruder of some sort. <sighs> We're just now getting to the point. <laughs> what a pain. You have no idea, bro. <laughs> Buckle up. The next two video, three videos, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't sigh. This is a good thing. Yeah, the Sorry. next three videos are gonna be a pain. <laughs> anyway, let's head inside. Intruder for sure. We know someone bumped into Amapel. The culprit probably hit Amapel on their way out. After that, they must have intended to leave the lab. Right. They couldn't because we were in the front chamber. Correct. So they hid inside the decontamination That's device right. to avoid us. So, if you checked inside the decontamination device on the way to the scene. I'm also willing to bet they were hiding in the decontamination device uh, before we turned everything off the robot. They just kind of followed the robot in and then hid behind it. You would have caught the culprit then in there. Y yeah, but it was an emergency and we had no idea they were in there. It's super lame to make up excuses, Master. <laughs> it, it's not an excuse, but it is true. If I had thought about why Amapal was knocked over at that time, I would have realized the culprit was in there. We could have waited in ambush or... You had no way of knowing. And if I'd caught the culprit then, Chief Yako wouldn't have gotten stabbed. Master, wallowing in regret is even lamer. If you have time for that, you have time to keep going. Right. I'm thinking Vivia could have disguised... could have been wearing the cloak or something. And then pretend... I mean, Yako probably stabbed himself. I'm almost certain Yako's the culprit. I really hate to say that, because I knew that was kind of some kind of big uh, secret or something. <laughs> really? Another fork in the path. <laughs> okay, I should be used to this by now. How did the culprit enter the lab? Seems like we're finally at the central question. The power, that could not have been it. Invited in by the doctor. Never entered in the first place might be it. Deactivated security by cutting the power. They couldn't do that. And invited in by the doctor. If they did that, it would have been three months ago. So it has to be the middle one. This is the first step to solving how the culprit committed an impossible murder. I leave the rest to you. I'm going to read a book. You can bring your own stuff into the mystery <laughs> labyrinth? 
He's just special. <laughs> Great, we'll just glaze over that. Okay, there's no other options. I'm almost certain it's gotta be this one. Never entered in the first place. Right here! Culprit never entered? But you said there's no doubt the culprit was in there. This is super Perhaps creepy. The intruder is not the culprit after all. Huh? So you're saying that the doctor committed suicide? If the doctor committed suicide, then the culprit wasn't the intruder, but the doctor himself. But if the doctor did it, there would be no intruder. The doctor was already in the lab. Yep, here we go. Huh? A trap? All right, here we go. Yes, you were wrong, Yuma. Well, I already knew that before you entered. Uh, I don't think we're wrong. What? Why did you tell me? You wanted me to tell you? Should have said so earlier. Jeez. People only grow <laughs> when you come past mistakes, which is why I purposely. Okay. All right, I'll try. So maybe we have to go through each one of these. Why is the doctor committed suicide not correct? Well, the stab wounds in the back. Okay, so I guess I was wrong there. I mean, I didn't think he committed suicide. That's right. The doctor was stabbed three times in the back. Right. One step would have indicated that he held the knife in place, then fell on it to kill himself. Yeah. But he couldn't have made three wounds like that. There's no way it was a suicide. Okay, I guess we're going back. Well, I may have messed up, but at least we got a little closer to the truth. <laughs> Maybe, but if you hadn't messed up in the first place, you wouldn't have to come up with such a lame excuse. I'm thinking we gotta disprove all three of these. I'll do better next I'm, time. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, I'm fairly certain we. I was right. I, that, that none of those options really applied. That was just the best one. So yeah, we just gotta disprove all three of those options. We'll probably have to keep coming back here over and over again. Try again. They couldn't have deactivated the security by cutting the power. That one's impossible. We just proved that that one's also not a thing. And then invited in by the doctor seems like the only... Well... I mean, they would have to be in there to begin with, so... It might... I could be that one. Let's try it. Right here! They're all the same. I did the culprit in? <laughs> but why? Things are so muddled now because we're assuming the culprit forced their way inside. If the culprit was invited to the lab, then he easily would have been able to enter. But we know that from the computer. So you think the doctor disabled the security? He wouldn't need it if he was expecting a guest. Yeah. This route is wrong too? <laughs> uh, again? No need to worry, Yuma. Just do what you did before. I don't mind it at all if we can't find a way to move forward. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm losing motivation. You can take care of this on your own, can't you, Master? Don't let me yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Okay, the reason it can't have been someone invited in because the computer logs. Yeah, security log. The 
log on the doctor's computer didn't show any signs of security getting shut down. We're probably gonna have to disprove a lot of possibilities until we get to the right one. If that's the case, the only one that fits. Certainly didn't cut security just to let someone in. But I'm fairly certain whoever is the culprit followed our robot in. <laughs> And slipped in when that because that door took a while to open. No excuses, Master. Do it again. <laughs> You're tired, Yuma. Why don't you lie down for a bit? <laughs> no. Resting here wouldn't help me at all. Why don't you lie down? <laughs> lie down in this coffin. <laughs> I'll bury you six feet deep so you can get some peace and quiet. <laughs> okay, third time's the charm. <laughs> well, obviously someone deactivated the security by cutting power. Right here! I know this one's wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blackout to slip past security and into the lab. But it was on a different power grid. Is pretty simple. Almost too simple. Yep, it's wrong. <laughs> wrong again. <laughs> nice try, dumbass. This was the last route! This labyrinth is a tricky one. It's like one of those old detective novels. Perhaps you're the real culprit. <laughs> really, Master? That'd be a twist. Of course not! <laughs> Focus! We need to get out of here! Yeah, you know what? Usually there's like a... I remember now in the Danganronpa games... The fourth chapter is like synonymous with like really messed up stuff, some kind of real messed up thing happening. So security power supply. The doctor said the critical lab was on a separate grid. Yeah. And the lab switchboard wasn't in the electrical room. The security wouldn't shut off, even if there was a blackout in the building. I know, right? <laughs> were all three routes wrong? All three routes are wrong. We just gotta find the right. We gotta find a new one. I wonder what it means. It's just disproving all the possibility, all the possibility, the wrong possibility, so we find the right one. Kind of like Doctor Watson to uh, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Watson will always say something, and Holmes would be like, "Elementary, you're wrong." <laughs> Shut up, Watson. <laughs> Oh, a fourth door. How nice. Hey, there's another door. That was not there. I get it. Since we proved that every possibility was wrong, a new one has appeared. Interesting. The mystery labyrinth not only materializes the case, but also changes based on your investigation. Right. Something felt off about those other routes. It's almost like we were forced to choose the wrong way. Really? But by eliminating each <laughs> wrong answer one by one, you opened the path to the right answer. You sound disappointed. <laughs> Who cares? I really what wanted to die. Route? Open up. <laughs> I gotta come up with something better. Entered and killed via He's spectral projection. To enter and kill him? I mean, he, even even Vivia said that himself. It's like, come on now. Is <sighs> no. I can't believe the culprit entered the labyrinth with us. That's never happened before. <laughs> How dare you trick me! Uh, it's not me. There is no escape. Once the mystery labyrinth is solved, the culprit will be judged. Master, let's finish up this mystery labyrinth and both kill this dude. What? Uh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're going in anyway.
<laughs> and another dead end. <laughs> huh? Another trap? Yeah. That's why I said to wait. There's no way Vivi is the culprit. <laughs> Prove it and beat this thing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this one was Vivia's own yeah, ghost form traits. Which we even tried to do when we were a ghost and that didn't we couldn't do anything. We couldn't manipulate anything. Nothing can be touched. Couldn't touch anything, yeah. He couldn't have held the murder weapon, the knife. So it's not possible that he stabbed the doctor. Now do you trust Vivia? Master. I've said this a thousand times, but a detective must suspect everything. Besides, yeah, I think that's going to be the theme of this case. <laughs> the way he looks, how he talks, everything is super suspicious. That's basically the theme of this case. We have to suspect everything until we find something that fits. <laughs> Which, because I, if, if things are going to go the way I think they are, this is going to be a very... Uh, very mortifying, it's gonna come to a very horrifying answer, and it's gonna be like, but there's no other possible solution. <laughs> One that you're just gonna kind of instantly deny, but it's like, there's no other solution. This is the only thing that fits. Sorry. I do try to stay out of sight. <laughs> anyway, let's go I'm back. ashamed. Alright, we're going back. If he's not the culprit, then we're back to square one. Yeah. Let's try going back to the fork in the path. Maybe something else changed. And we're going back to that path next time, guys. <laughs> so that is going to wrap things up for tonight's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Tim Plays Game. Stay tuned for more Master Detective Archives rain code videos. Next time we're going to try a thousand more wrong answers and maybe get to the right one. <laughs> Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.